that's the, how America is a crossroads and an intersection. So many people have come to America and lived these great dreams and have this benefit of living in this great country. And we share that, that commonality. If you look around, we have different diversities of cultures and we've immigrated from different places, but we share that common bond in America. Let me just back up a little bit, right? I was born in New York, like many here. Woo! <laughs> I grew up in California. I grew up in California, but I had an opportunity in boxing to move back to New York. And that's where my life began, through this man right here. Mike Tyson and I found an opportunity with Custy Amato, our mentor, one of the most special men in life. And we all have mentors. There's baseball coaches, there's teachers, our parents, they can be great mentors. And I had the great fortune of living with Mike and we worked, we trained, we dedicated, we sacrificed, well, we committed did, right? for, for five years together, living together. And Mike went on to become heavyweight champion of the world and, 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 and his success. And we've been brothers throughout that time in trials and tribulations. But what's great about America is the opportunity of redemption, the opportunity to, to do different and better and more. And we all, as humans, have challenges. And I believe that one of the greatest opportunities we'll ever have is to serve the public in some capacity. We just talked about baseball coaches. We talked about how we could be responsible members of a community. That makes a difference for that next generation. Because in America and in life, we all know status quo, we identify, we know there's challenges in our lives, but status quo is never okay. Ultimately, how do we change the trajectory? How do we make it better? And that opportunity comes from when you serve the public and the opportunity I have as a county supervisor to work with for public safety, for education, for jobs. Now we look at challenges for our cost of living. How about inflation right now? Gas prices. What's happening at our borders with fentanyl flying into America? Over 350 people in America a day are dying from drug overdose from fentanyl that's just flying into the, our open borders. We have challenges in America. We can meet those challenges together, united as Americans. And I'm not running for Congress to represent a political party. I'm running for Congress to represent my community and the privilege I have to serve them now as a county supervisor and to serve them in Washington, D.C., so that California has a great future. Your water here in Los Angeles comes from my county in San Joaquin, the Delta. It's your water. We need more of it. We need better forest management so these wildfires aren't destroying. 25% of our forests are gone in the last 10 years. So we have, we have challenges, but there are pathways and solutions, and it's not from partisan politics. It's from common ground. Right in the middle is where America likes to be. It's not to the extreme, to the left, or the right, or anywhere between. It's not the acrimony of fighting each other. It's about working together for the common goal to change that trajectory. I have a soon-to-be 13-year-old daughter. Mike has his children. We, you know, we all here have children. We have family. We've invested in our community. We've taken risks. We seek rewards. And we've had hardships. Those hardships are our building blocks. Those hardships are the manners that we're going to take and move our community and our country to a better place, a better tomorrow. And it's not to serve ourselves. It's to serve our community. Because we are a diverse community. We are a great community. We are a proud community. We are a community of immigrants that have formed this great nation and this great system called capitalism that gives equal opportunity for every single person that lives in this great country. Anybody can move here, invent a widget, and become a millionaire. In fact, 70% of the millionaires in America began their lives with minimum wage jobs. Well, I'm here and we are here, and my, my brother, we are here for a better tomorrow. Your support, this is going to be a short speech, so it's not a, a, a great night. Your support makes that possible. We can all make a difference when we work collectively to pay attention. Who's being elected to your school board? Who's on your city council? Who's going to be your county supervisor? Who's going to be your attorney general? Pay attention to these elections. They make a difference. Now, we have a friendship. We have bonded many of us over many decades. Why? Because we believe in this great country. When I see my friend Joe Cortez, who's a great actor, who's a friend of ours, and I see you know, my friend Wendy Both, and I see you know, Mike Anderson, who's, whose son proudly served in America. And unfortunately, Mike's a gold star father, because his son showed, in spite of fear, in spite of adversity, in spite of challenges, his son went into a hot box room with all the bad guys, and he got in a gunfight with them, and, and his unit 
survived because he stepped up and fought the bad guy when we needed. So we identify the bad. We identify the bad, but we also identify the solutions and the pathway to a better tomorrow. That's what I'm here for. My friend, Skip Erman Harris, I love you. You're my brother since we're kids. And in fact, Michael's fascinated to find out that I had a, that I had a black brother before he did. <laughs> <laughs> he, thought, he thought he was the first. He's like, Tommy, you got a black friend before me? I'm like, please. Right? So I'm just so proud of my of the life, the places we've gone and the things we've done, that journey that we all here collected. We're still here because America is a great country that serves opportunity for all of us. And I'm here to be a representative for the state of California and for our future. So that's all I'm gonna say. Yeah. We're gonna have a great night. Proud Thank of you, you proud of you. Thank you. Thank you. There's no testimony unless there was a test, even a test. I just want everybody to know that. There's no testimony unless there was a test. He's been tested. And passed. <laughs>